All right, let's take a look at this setup. We just talked about looking for a short sell setup. It pulled us in. Um, so remember, we went over a video yesterday on how to trade momentum. Uh, when the price was down at this level, I got on the microphone this morning and said, hey, we're looking for a short side setup. No buys at all because our momentum indicator is showing six ATR zones. One, two, three, four, five, six red dots, which is actually three zones showing short, long-term zone, our short-term zone, intermediate zone, and long-term zone all said we're going short. What you do is you look for the first opposite color speed bars are these volume spikes that came in. We're looking for a short side setup. So down at this level, I said let's wait for the WPT to come in. There's the WPT, the opposite color speed bars once you get that once you get that what you want to look for is you want to try to pull yourself in you can pull yourself in with your own oscillator so I use this oscillator below uh, it pulled in and um, it's a nice trade uh, so your fill should have been around 14 and a half to 15 a quarter depending on how you pull yourself in and got as low as uh, 08 so far on the first trade so this is our momentum indicator I talked about but this is our main zone. This zone loves to stop the market. This is my 38 to 45 zone. Um, our ATRs are different than other, other ATRs because it starts differently than most ATRs. So when you get red momentum chart and you also get the intermediate zone showing a opposite color speed bars, that's when we want to uh, uh, trade the markets, is that that's when you want to try to go to work and try to look for a setup. If you look, we matched up. We matched up on the momentum chart. Matched up the momentum chart and matched up on my five Simrinka chart. We have these workspaces automatically all set up for you already. We get into the zone and we have a nice little cell setup that comes down. There's our cell setup uh, all the way down to potential of 08 and a half. But this is how you match them up both. This is a trade. Hold on one second. We got a cell setup on the Dow that just happened. Guys, sell set up in the zone on the Dow. Sell set up on the Russell 2000 happening right now also. Heads up on that. Um, so just heads up on those markets as we speak. They're starting to try to roll over um, um, as we speak there also. So you, you just try to match up those uh, levels. Um, uh, first off, first off on the Russell 2000. First off on the Dow, guys. First off on the Dow also on that short went right to the zone just like this trade on both those setups also went right into the sell zone just like this so it doesn't matter what market you trade guys uh, the ones that I'm looking at this morning are the uh, crude oil uh, the S&P uh, the Russell 2000 uh, NASDAQ futures and then also um, the YM the NASDAQ futures moves very fast I use a longer Rinko bar we'll be doing a conference call on that um, uh, coming up uh, we'll do a conference call uh, with that as far as the um, as far as what Rinkos I like to use uh, you know for these different markets and so on all right but that's the whole point what we're trying to do is we're trying to look to sell sell zones I adjusted the stop on the Dow guys down adjusted the stop on the Russell 2000 down so what I try to do is I try to get into these zones adjusted both stops now on both Russell and Dow still tanking um, s and still tanking on the runner. If you look, you, you just want to, what you want to try to do here, guys, is you want to look for this momentum. Look for the momentum to come into the market. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is six. Uh, that is six on um, runner stopped out on the Dow and Russell. Still short on the S&P. But if you look at... Um, you look for six red ATRs, six red ATRs. Once you get the six red ATRs, what you do is look for the opposite color speed bars. Once you get that opposite color speed bar, you try to pull yourself in with this oscillator below. You can pull it in with the magenta going below your, you know, uh, for major confirmation below your 80% above 20, or if you're a little more aggressive, above below 90, above 90. Um, and then also over here in the five sim. If these match up, if these two charts match up, if they match up here and here inside the zone, look how the zone stopped the market. That's not just by chance, guys. It's not lucky, you know, 
on this video. It's go back and if you have this on, if you lease the program, go back and look at the trades this thing picks up. These zones are very, very accurate. You know, you just got to keep your stops in because when you do get stopped out, you don't want a, a large stop. You don't need large stops on these trade setups. This came right into the zone. This S&P came right into the zone. And hey, if you close outside of the zone, right, after you get pulled in or two ticks above that swing high, then that's a stop out. You know, these trades, this, this, it should roll over. Right when you get these optic color speed bars with ATR trend, you should get that reversal. And if you don't get pulled in, then stay away from the setup. Stay away from the setup. So good rollover on the Russell 2000, went right into the zone. Good rollover on the Dow, right into the zone. Um, uh, S&P, right into the zone. So those three markets really worked out quite well uh, uh, as far as that goes. So just remember, matching this up, we went over a video yesterday. And it's, it's only uh, 8.44 this morning, Eastern Standard Time. It's not even close to 9.30 yet. So we'll pick up even more action here, getting near the open. But we're futures traders. We're not stock traders, per se. You don't have to wait till the New York opens. You get these nice trades pre-market, uh, pre-New pre York open, you know, quite a bit. Uh, but when the New York opens, the best time to look at 9.30 to 10.30, 1.30, 2.30 in the afternoon works really, really well with volume. Uh, but just... Patience for letting these come into the zone, looking for the opposite color speed bar. You know, that's what we try to do. We, we try to let the algorithm do the work and then, um, and then looking for these high probability reversals. Okay, so remember the best setup you're going to get is zone trades. When they come into the zone and they get pulled in, these markets are still tanking. Dow's tanking, Russell tanking. We got uh, S&P tanking right from the zones. All three were zone cells.